Hey everybody, this is Russ and Cheryl, Hello. who is in for the fourth video response <laughs> to, oh look, dogs decided to bark, great. <laughs> Go away, shoot, uh, they'll be back. <laughs> so again, fourth video response of the night and our last one, our final one to Charles the Modern Gent, who is doing his 100 subscribers contest, and see, I told you, here they are. <laughs> Uh, there may be some editing in this video. If you see some jump cuts, now you know why. Uh, so Charles had a video where he announced his 100 subs contest. And for that contest, he had a couple of things he wanted us to do. The first, to enter the contest, if we wanted one entry, is to read something in a Boston accent. If we wanted a bonus point, we could read something original of our own design in a Boston accent. And if we wanted yet another bonus entry, we could list two facts about Massachusetts that we didn't already know. And we started looking at facts about Massachusetts, and there's a lot of stuff we don't know about Massachusetts. We know a lot more now, though. I will say that. So before I really attempt to go back to my roots and speak in a Boston accent because like you Charles I am from the Boston area but ever since I moved away from there um, 20 years ago well more than 20 years ago 25 years ago now my Boston accent has pretty much gone away just like yours has so I kind of practiced my Boston accent a little bit earlier before we started recording this video, and it came out a little bit Boston, a little bit Kennedy, and a little bit Down Easter. So I think that should make for some interesting watching, and I'm sure the more mangled this Boston accent is, the funnier it will be. So we'll get to that, but first, Cheryl is going to talk about a couple of the uh, amazing facts that we didn't know about Massachusetts. And the thing of it is, I used to live not in Massachusetts, but I lived in New Hampshire, you know, eight miles from the border. So I should have known half of this stuff that we looked up, but of course I didn't. So what do we got? I'm embarrassed. I'm sure everybody's embarrassed <laughs> for me. At least you're not from there, so you can't claim to have known all of this crap, no. but I should have known all of it. Of well, course I didn't. That's true. I'm a Missouri girl through that's and right. through. Well, the, uh, we actually came up with three interesting facts that we didn't know besides the subway system, which had already been mentioned. We actually came up with hundreds, but we well, narrowed, right, it, down right, right, narrowed it down to three. So uh, the first one was that Harvard's library has over 15 million books in it. And the Boston Public Library has over 14 million books. These are number two and number three in the United States behind the Library of Congress, which has around 30 million books. And that's a heck of a lot of books. It is, but that's still pretty impressive, considering that the Library of Congress is supposed to be a compendium of, like, all, all written literature yeah. that there is. Um, cons you know, you have almost that same number of books between the Boston Public Library and the, the Harvard, Harvard Library, Library as the same as the Library of Congress. That's pretty freaking amazing. Amazing. Yep, yeah. yep. Um... For those that do TV dinners, Clarence Birdseye um, started his frozen foods company in 1925, and he's from Gloucester. Yeah, he's from up Gloucester, up Gloucester way, yeah. <laughs> up Gloucester, just up 95, uh, up Revia, you know. Um, it's you sound true. like your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to work as much Boston accent. I'm, I'm trying go. to work up to this, too, and I've had, like, five drinks before this one, just so I can, <laughs> you know, because I tell you what, you can always sound more Boston if you're more drunk. It works. I guarantee it. Well, suck that puppy down, then. All right, here I go. Okay. <laughs> and the, uh, the bonus tidbit that we came up with was Massachusetts has the lowest divorce rate of any other place in the nation. And it is 2.2 persons per every thousand. And since we have a whole bunch of friends that seem to like have some sort of package deal at the divorce court, that just amazes me. 
So yeah, two point two in a thousand. That's pretty low. I mean, I don't know what the divorce rate. We didn't look up to compare it to the rest of the country, but it sounds pretty low. That that's according to the census. So yeah, that's like two tenths of a percent. I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Way to go, Massachusetts, sticking together through thick and thin. Yay. Maybe it's just a lot of unhappy people. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Everybody's miserable. There you All go. All right, so here I go. This, this is going to sound totally awful. We, we ran through this before we did the video, but we're going to try and keep this under 10 minutes. You want to explain it? Yeah, this here is a, is a poem that I wrote. Um, and you can see it has my, my fantastic mug there. Um, here on the side, this, this, you asked me to do for you for a Christmas present last mm -hmm. year. And I did, I wrote an original poem here, um, which if you read it, not in a Boston accent is actually quite touching, but when you're drunk and read it in a Boston accent, it sounds absolutely fucking horrible. So, <laughs> um, I'm not going <laughs> to, uh, and this is going to sound really bad. I know it is, but. That's what we came here to do. Uh, I'm only going to read the first two stanzas because I can't bring myself to read the whole thing because it's just, it's like, it's like, I don't know, pissing on fine art. Uh, so, and I'll try not to chuckle yeah. while you're doing it. <laughs> and like I said, this is probably going to waver between East Boston, uh, what the hell is his name? Kennedy, yeah. East Boston Kennedy and Down Easter. So <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Uh, there may be a jump cut in here. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Once upon the easy path of use it seemed, the curve of twitching branches brushed away the dock and stretched up to burst amidst the ever-present spark so unfettered had I dreamed. A burning day of summertime, once bounded by no limit, sees years erode the harmony, starting with a thirst. Lastly, pulling down the veil as cool Elysian bursts the years I wanted in it. Yeah, God, that was awful. Uh, whatever you do, if you're if you're like Robert Frost and actually from Massachusetts, don't read your shit out loud because it just you know let someone else do it. Anyway, uh, thanks, Modern Gent uh, Charles, for the contest. Congratulations on your subscribers. I know you're already well above the hundred that your contest is for. I think I just looked and it was like 178 or something like that. And I know by the time um, Halloween runs around, you'll be well over 200. So congrats again. Good luck to all the entries. And uh, can't wait to hear more butchered Boston accents. <laughs> and I, I butchered a Boston accent and I'm from there. So uh, it's just terrible. Anyway. His mother's Swedish. He, he gets kind of a... <laughs> Ticket on that one, I don't so. think I get a pass. <laughs> don't give me a pass. All right. We'll see you guys all next time. Take care.